was playing in a football match down Alexandra Park, just went in for a tackle 50-50, took a knock on my ankle, went down, got treatment, carried on. Just the lump never went away. After two weeks, went to the doctors. They said it was a cyst at first. Sent me for, to have an operation to remove the cyst. They see it wouldn't look what it was supposed to look like. So sent me for more scans in London, where I did an MRI scan. And that's when they found out there was cancer in my bone. It was a tough day, I remember waited in the rooms and had the scan and then and then they, they took us in a room and told us and it was the emotional that everyone was just crying and that as you would. But then we drove home, listened to Paul Simon and it was all singing and just took every day as it come from then. Dreams there, and then obviously it just—you you know it's not going to happen, so you, you can just forget about it instantly. I think it was about two months after like my first leg fitted. My dad used to take me down the the field, caution, and uh, just make me run around the pitch. And then obviously when I could run, he used to take me down Hillsy, and I used to run round all around the Lido, around the coast background it was a mile and then he used to work the time on the wall and then the next week when we went back I had to beat that time I met uh, Ray who's who's our captain and probably the leader of our teams our talisman he's uh, one of the best if not the best amputee footballer in the country. It's like an honour to play with someone that's from the GB team who plays for them. Playing football on crutches is a totally different concept to playing football together, I think. It's trying to have the combination of the crutches and the ball and having very little balance at times. It's really difficult. It is a really visual sport to watch and if you've never seen it, you'd be like, wow, it's really good and it's faster than what you think. Ray Westbrook was approached by the, the ports within the community to start up a team locally to here. I've known Ray for a long time. I've you know, made his legs in the past. And he approached me to help him try and find players. And so we put the word out, we put the posters up around here. And then the open day that happened, he asked if I would come along and just make the numbers up, which I did. And I got the bug. Portsmouth MPT is, is great to be with as Ray can teach us like everything. It's made me really proud. I did to obviously give off other people opportunities, the amputees are the same as me, but I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. They do give commitment and training, they do all this and, and try really hard. At the time, you think that's over and you're going to be just sat in a wheelchair doing nothing. But looking back, it's probably the best thing that could have happened to me. You could still jump out of planes. You could still do bungee jumping and you can still do exactly the same as they can do. I wouldn't ever want two legs, I don't think, because my life's been too colourful with just the one. I don't care that I've got a prosthetic leg or anything. I'm, I'm just out there as I am. I was a bit of a tear away before it happened and it probably curved me on. I was a harsh lesson to take, but it probably made me a better person as well. You meet more people, you're more social, you think about other people more than 